Alrighty, this video is going to be pretty quick. We're just going to talk about a concept called CIDR notation. C-I-D-R. CIDR notation is a really easy way to write subnet masks. Instead of having to go out here and write 255.255.255.0. Every single time that you want to, to notate that your subnet mask is that, you can instead just write slash 24. So CIDR notation is really helpful when you are writing out a bunch of address ranges and, and stuff like that, or just trying to not have to write 255 so many times. So each of these numbers, these CIDR notations, actually refers to a different subnet mask configuration. So we're going to figure out what that is. So now if you have already watched my video about what is an IP address, which I would assume if you're already at CIDR notation, you would have already, you would already at least know what an IP address is and how it's structured in binary. So we already know that 255 is all of the digits activated. So that's one, 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 one. I just lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight ones right there. So that means eight ones, eight ones, eight ones in these three sections right here. So eight times three, that is 24 digits that are activated. And then a zero, that's no more digits that are activated. So this uh, subnet mask right here equals slash 24. So equals slash 24 right here. Now, if you have an IP address, or a, sorry, a subnet mask that is 255.255.255.0, one ninety two. What is that? So we already know that right here that equals twenty four uh, total digits that are activated, to total number ones that are in the subnet mask. So now we got to figure out what one ninety two is. So we're going to go out here and write out our little binary chart: one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty two, sixty four, one twenty eight. Now, if you were paying attention in my last video, then you would know that one ninety two is just these two right here, and a bunch of zeros here. So now that we've already got 24 here, we've got two here, so that means this will be a slash 26. Slash 26 equals 255.255.255.192. Those are the same thing. Now, isn't writing slash 26 so much easier than having to write all that stuff out? So, CIDR notation is very useful when you get into um, having to annotate or, or explain a lot of different networks at a time, so that way you don't have to just write out the subnet mask so many times. You just put a, oh yeah, this, this IP address of 192.168.2.4 is a slash 24 network. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So, that's, that's CIDR notation right there. Hopefully, that helps you out.